there was a pretty significant update to the Hunter Classic a couple of days ago, and it involves a few different things, one of which being competitions. Unfortunately, at the time I'm recording this, the new competitions and competition schedule haven't actually started yet. By the time the video is out, they will have, but that's going to have to be something we save for down the road, and I definitely do intend on actually taking a look at that, but the other major thing is a bit of a change to the scoring, and essentially, to combat a lot of duplicate scores specifically towards the top of leaderboards, they've added a fourth decimal place, and it really is mostly affecting animals that are scored by weight or by the skull. But there is a fourth decimal place on all scores, so I thought we'd come out here to White Rhyme Ridge. There are actually four species that would be considerably affected. So the snow geese, snowshoe hare, polar bear, and arctic fox all are either weight or skull scores. But we're going to try to take one of everything and just take a look at the new scoring and see what we can find out here. So for the sake of kind of getting out of the way, I thought we'd start with the snow geese. And we actually have the drilling gun here, so I don't even know how this is going to go. I think we'll try to get... We might have had a chance at a double. We actually got a double there, so not too bad. But as I mentioned, Snokies are one that was actually affected. I believe their max score would have been 4499.999. But now with the extra decimal plays, I assume the max is the same, but with an extra 9 on the end. I'm really not sure exactly how that's treated, and I'm very curious to know, and I I'm not sure we'll ever find out, if the old scores actually would have had like a fourth decimal place that was rounded away or kind of where they're generating this fourth digit from but as you saw there there was a fourth digit on the decimal we'll see it on these two as well and as i mentioned it is there for everything i just really don't know exactly where it's coming from but it should actually add a little bit more variance to the leaderboards and for things such as rabbits that's one that always basically went to the max score it's gonna be really good to see basically just not a bunch of people tied for first place and I think also black bear and brown bear is going to be another one because there is always like a max score bear posted at the top of the leaderboard so I think it's a really good step in the right direction I really like I said would like to know exactly how they're doing it but it's there and that's the important thing now I was kind of getting at the fact that I really don't even know how long it's been since we've used the drilling rifle but especially not for the actual 9.3 part, because I imagine we've used the shotgun in some sort of like using every shotgun to hunt geese video or something like that. But for big game, that's the first shot in quite some time. I really forgot how good that sounds. We might need to actually bring this gun out more, but managed to drop that moose. He's a decent sized bull. And this will be a little bit of a look at the four decimals on an antlered animal. And to me, it actually makes more sense that they could I guess easily get a fourth digit that would actually be there. The more that I think about the max scores for animals that sort of had a max with either weight or skull, the more I think maybe there is just an additional decimal point to have a higher max, but I'm really not too sure like where they would get it. But anyway, probably like a 140s or 150 bull. Heart shot him and double lung there at 113 meters. 145 score is not too bad. and. Yeah, we've now used the shotgun and rifle barrels for the drilling rifle, and if anything, kind of reminded me that we should use it more. So another species we should see some pretty positive change with is the arctic fox. As I mentioned, they are another one that's scored by weight. Apparently there's a doll sheep in the area, but it's just a female, so we're not going to worry about that. He is, I think, aware that we're here. So we'll go ahead and hit him with buckshot. Actually, had one kind of right between the eyes. I don't know if that was brain or what, but... We know for certain that at least Puma, which are a skull score and not a weight one, have like a bit of a change to their max. So in the past you couldn't get above 16, it was like 15.98 something was the max. But we have already two on the leaderboard since this change that have gone above 16. And there may be other species that have like a new maximum. And because we're only a day or two into this update, it really is just going to take some time and basically watching the leaderboards to see if there is new maximums, but I wouldn't be surprised to see other ones if the Puma got that because they're adding that extra decimal point. If it can go much higher to animals at max, kind of like at a 0.9 range, it could be very plausible for them to go into that next number and that's going to be a big thing for even just kind of personal bests. It really makes me want to go and try to find a 16 scoring Puma now, but I definitely want to watch and see if there's others out there that sort of get that increase. So we're going to end up going kind of back to back here. I think that's the snowshoe that I wanted. But we had the arctic fox. 
And now we have another species that would be significantly affected, and that is the snowshoes. So at the end of every single season, you basically had a 1,999.000 score snowshoe, and they're just simply scored by their weight in grams. But now with that additional uh, decimal plays, that should actually make a pretty big difference. And I'm curious to see what those scores end up being, because they were always the 000. So I'm wondering, do we now get still three zeros and then one different number? Or are they all going to be different? And I guess this is probably one time where we'll find out, because it wasn't just the max. It was all these numbers that would be zeros, and the fact that they're not should have a lot more variance in the leaderboards for them. And unfortunately, smaller scoring one, just a 1.5, but still decent and really good to know and encouraging for going forward. And to complete it and take the fourth animal on this map that would be most affected by the new change, we now have a polar bear out here, 26 to 31 and max weight estimate. I'm hoping the uh, 9.3 can drop it because anytime you're shooting a polar bear out on the ice, there's a chance that it actually kind of runs to a place you can't claim it, but where it is now, we should be able to get there. So hopefully we can just kind of drop it in its tracks. I will say, it's got a pretty big looking head on it, but the amount of times I've said that about any kind of bear species recently and been wrong is quite high, so not too sure what to expect. That was possibly a hard shot. Regardless, it was a drop shot, and we should be able to pretty much go straight down this way and out there to pick him up. Now with a max score estimate of 31, he can't be like the absolute top end because they can score just over 31. Lower weight means he's probably going to be, yeah, pretty much the average for a male polar bear, 28.5. Definitely not bad, and at least it was an easy one to actually get to, but again, just that four decimal place system, I think we're going to see a lot more variance just towards the top of the other three species leaderboards because there weren't that many 31 polar bears killed anyway, but it definitely helps in the case of any that would have otherwise been a tie. Well, he's certainly not the biggest Sitka buck I've seen. We just kind of fast travel, and I'd like to actually take him with the bow here if we can, just in case there's any doll sheep or anything in the area here. We still need the doll sheep and the bison, but he's just getting into 20 meters there. Hopefully he'll hang around for just a second. He was actually calling. I thought he might be checking the wind. But that will get that one out of the way for us. And the place that we've actually kind of moved to is good for Sitka deer, so we may still find a better one. But I think it's going to really be something to get used to, seeing the four decimal places on antlered animals. Really, almost never would there be ties with them, but it did occasionally happen, not so much at the top of the leaderboards, but actually often in competitions. And as I mentioned, there is a couple of changes to the competition system in this update. So I'm looking forward to actually getting to see those and also looking forward to having a little less to worry about as far as scores being tied and like who actually gets first place. There should just be pretty simply first, second, and third with different scores. Now that buck, I would say at least is above average. He's 30 to 80, so still not at the top end. They can get to around 113, but definitely better. And we should probably get somewhere mid 70s out of him. We'll try to kind of do the same thing here. Frontal shot again, actually kind of turning. They're sort of tough to drop. Sometimes double lung doesn't immediately drop them with a bow. I'm not sure if we maybe got a neck bone there or maybe we were just fortunate enough to get a double lung drop shot, but luckily we are able to pretty much not give our presence away to anything. Double lung liver would have accounted for that and a 73.5 score. So like I said, definitely better. And again, just getting used to seeing that four decimal system. That is a really nice doll sheep. It just sort of came walking up here. Oh boy, that did something. <laughs> Try to stand up. That said 140 to 225 on the estimate. It called down there and I was kind of slowly moving this way. I think it actually ended up trotting down here and just because the water was over there, it just sort of went our direction. There's actually a bunch running around down in that little peninsula, but I think we got ourselves a pretty good one. It's been quite some time since I've actually shot them, so I'm not sure. Weight is 112, I like that. It's probably over 200. 204.8, that might be top of the leaderboard right now. I'm going to go to trophy shot mode here, just for fun. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And just quickly, according to what I saw, it would actually put us in six, so apparently a good number of big doll sheep have been taken already. I don't know that we've gotten to use the trophy shot poses for them, 
but we'll quickly get our player lined up. And after a couple hours out here, we finally got ourselves a real trophy animal. It's not often that I'm super pleased with a doll sheep trophy shot. They're just kind of difficult, but I like that. It shows off a decent amount of the width, and you still get to see a lot of the curl and everything, and we sort of got the deer hunter pose to work, holding on to the horn now, so I wouldn't have expected it. Um, we have a 207 or 208 doll sheep from some point in the past, so I don't think we'll taxonomize. We'll take advantage of the GM we can gain from that, but I'm pretty sure that now leaves us with nothing but bison that we haven't taken and I really thought we would have gotten one just we sort of passed on a bunch of small males and females but at this point we've gotten at least one of everything else so we'll go down to some of the better area for them I think just because of the fact that we've been here for over two hours we're gonna try to take that male I don't really know how to go about this maybe if we can just hit her with the recurve or drop her I guess that works too but He's not too bad, and I was gonna actually try to use the bow for him. Seeing what it just did to that female, it doesn't seem like a terrible idea, but I also wanna try the 9.3. That hit a little further right than I wanted, so I hope it at least got a lung. That would be kind of unfortunate if we sort of skip the opportunity to use the bow and then the bow just ends up doing better. That was a neck bone shot that insta dropped her. Not a bad deal, I mean 100 scoring female. But then let's go and see. I'm actually quite worried that we ended up with basically a straight shoulder blade shot here. We'll have to take a look at the blood. And it was body blood. So we're going to have to probably make another shot on him. I'm not really sure how far he'll run. And I don't even know, like, it's so rare that we end up with a body shot. Because we usually let them charge and then sort of shoot them head on with a bow. So quite often the arrow ends up going back into the lungs even if we miss the brain or neck. So we'll have to just track him down, but I'm hoping once he kind of slows down that he'll let us get close again. I was worried that we wouldn't be able to basically run right up to him like you can when they're unharmed. And that was certainly the case. So we're going to try to make a better hit here. Kind of same shot placement, but with a better angle. I think we might have hit the exact same spot. Hopefully that time it's a lung. We'll have to run up and see, and we wouldn't expect a drop shot from Broadside using the 9.3. But the entire time, it's done super well. And then we get down to Bison, and, well, I guess they are the biggest species on the map, but it seems to be having a little more of an issue. But, right by a moose shed, we have Lung Blood and a Downed Bison, so that wasn't bad. Just sort of the angle of the first shot was our issue, because it was closer. But a 112 score almost 112.5 even double long there at 100 meters with a 9.3 is not bad and yeah i'm really excited to actually see uh what there is with the competitions there are all new competition trophies and i'm really looking forward to actually competing for some of those but it was nice to get out here on the white ram ridge and pretty cool to actually drop a pretty huge doll sheep as well i really thought so early on in the season we'd end up being number one in the leaderboard for a brief time but Seems like a lot of people are actually taking them out already, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.